Hey, welcome back to the Emote Guide. Today, we will be taking down the Brain of Cthulhu. First of all, I have to mention, sound is down to 25%, and I disabled extra music because that mod is too loud. As for differences from the other bosses, so what I've done is, I've gotten Lightning Boots, um, because they're faster. I'm now wearing Shield, because I have to. It's a dash. And I upgraded to a green horseshoe balloon. Um, you can get the whoopee cushion easily by talking to the Deviant, which sells a summon for the giant worm. So you can just use a bunch until you get the banner, which you can craft into whoopee cushion. Or you can get the whoopee cushion first. Um, a fun fact about the green horseshoe balloon, a lot of people say that, um, objectively the best double jump is the yellow horseshoe balloon because um it's it goes high and yes it does go higher than green horseshoe but the thing is green horseshoe is faster so there are actually some arguments towards green horseshoe being better um and i think it is i'm gonna be using buffs for this fight because um i just want to beat it um this is a pretty good fight like i like it a lot i like how it was changed I'm going to be using two weapons for this. Um, first of all, I'm going to be using the Tendon Bow loaded with Jester Arrows for piercing. Um, and for close range, I'll be using the Slime Slasher. Um, you're going to notice that I'm still using Cactus Enchant. That is because it is very good against the Creepers. And um, um, I have a medicated bandage. Though this can only be... Well, you don't need it to be medicated, you can just wear the regular adhesive bandage. And if you're wondering how to get the adhesive bandage pre-hard mode, because this is a hard mode only drop, right? Um, if you kill a bunch of um, piranhas, then emote makes it so that piranhas actually drop adhesive bandaid, because they're really annoying with... Um, if you have bleeding, they like hop at you and leave your blocks, so the dead of tail of mercy and... Allowed us to get adhesive bandage, um, free hard mode. As for why I'm using adhesive bandage, um, the, um, when you're in the crimson, you will be bleeding permanently. I could take this off, but then this piranha will jump at me and it would annoy me to death. So, instead, just, you should know that if you play this mode, that being in the Crimson causes you to have Bleeding, and Bleeding disables regen, or it reduces it by a lot. And because of that, because I want regen, I'm going to be wearing this. There's not much else I could wear aside from this. Um, and again, doesn't need to be medicated, you don't need to combine it with the Bezor, but I'm going to be using Bezor for Queen Bee, for just a quick spoiler. Um, as for my arena, I already got it. It's right here. It's the same as last time. There's no way you're beating this by finding it underground. Now you may be wondering, but wait, this is not a crimson. So wouldn't the boss enrage and go invincible? Well, no, because in E mode, um, Brain of Cthulhu's existence actually just changes the biome to crimson. Like it doesn't change any blocks; it just changes everything to be crimson. So, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be breaking this last orb, and using bombs. I'm going to place a bunch of bombs on top of it, and I will use recall potions to get back to spawn. I hope I don't mess this up. Anything else I need to talk about? Um, don't think there is, so, uh, play it safe. Uh... All right, let's go. Yep, got it. All right, so phase one. I'm incredibly saddened. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> fortunately. Remember what I said about emo making bosses drop their spawners? Well, yeah, we can abuse exactly that. Thank you, E-Mode. I love this difficulty mode. Alright. 
as I was saying, let's go. So phase one. Um, as you can notice, the creepers are spewing i at you, and this i is really fun to dodge. You need to know how they work. So they move around for like a few seconds before coming to a stop and just kind of... They stop and then they go after a while, and you need to know that. Um, it can kind of be annoying how... Ow, ow, they are kind of just particles, so they could be hard to see, but overall they you should be able to see at least a glimpse of them. It's not too bad. I'm actually going to turn on minimap, usually I use overlay. And yeah, the horseshoe balloon is useful because I'm now immune to fall damage, which is pretty nice. So let's just slime slasher for a bit. Start taking them out. Maybe I should have been using slime slasher for the entire fight. Um, as the creeper numbers decrease, the creepers begin to spew icor more. So phase one actually gets more hectic as you kill more creepers. Keep that in mind. And my cactus is doing numbers on them as well. It's making killing one chain react into killing a bunch at once. So hopefully this phase can end soon and we can get to the second phase. I love the second phase. The last few creepers are very annoying to hit. Alright, let's go. So, there are two things you need to know about this phase. There, there are two separate phases, and both of them are like... Cute. Every time he does that roar, he switches between the two phases. So, um, the dev guy, the devs will tell you to go by the rings, but I instead use audio. Um, what I remember is there are two different roars, the Blarg and the Blarg. The, the Blarg is the regular, uh, regular boss roar. The Blarg is the, um, the, the phase two EOC sped up roar. Now what you need to remember is, if the last war you heard was the Blarg, then that means your controls are reversed. Alternatively, if the last war you heard was the Blarg, that means your controls are not reversed. That's how this boss works. Now, as for what I do to dodge the boss itself, um, you can notice that I am using shield a lot. And that is because... Uh, okay, um, that is because... In case one of the, the brains decide to move teleport ahead of me, um, my shield will protect me. Be and that is because Shield of Cthulhu Bonk is amazing. Cry about it, Shield of Cthulhu Bonk haters. Um, this ended up going a lot better than, a lot faster than I expected it to go. I haven't even explained the lasers. But to explain the laser grid really quickly, um, what I was doing was I was kind of going my ahead of myself, and that was because um, uh, if you can spread out the two clones, like get one way over here and another way over here rather than them close to you, when they do the laser switch, um, they will um, the lasers will be farther apart, and from there you can simply move down once. Um, or it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to dodge the lasers if you can spread the brains out. So, that is my strategy guide for Brain of Cthulhu. It went a lot better than I expected. Or, just kidding. Of course I was going to beat that. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your emote experience.